Hello and welcome to another battle report for my channel. As has been tradition, we have another Kings of War battle report. This is a 1500 points battle report uh, of dwarfs versus Basilia. The scenario we rolled up was loot. So my dwarf list has changed a little bit. Um, I attempted to include more dwarves, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, to start off, we have a Earth Elementals Horde. Just love them. Uh, no upgrades. A two regiments of shield breakers no upgrades a regiment of ironclad a regiment of bull workers a troop of rangers a flame belcher a greater earth elemental a king on large beast with the regeneration charm a army standard bearer with the healing charm and a stone priest with the bane chant upgrade the basilia was as follows a penitent mob in regiment Foot Paladin, Regiment, Two-Hand Upgrade, Elite Item, Two Regiments of Foot Paladin, one of them has the War Bow of Kaba, Two Regiments of Elohai, uh, One War Wizard, One Ur Elohai, with the Flame Breath Item, I believe it's called the something of the Dragon Kind, Nias Salustis, he is a um, special character for the Basilia, and then a Army Standard Bear. So, we go into deployment. Uh, this is the dwarf deployment from right to left. We have rangers in the trees. Um, Earth Elemental Horde. Greater Earth Elemental. Uh, the, as always, the stone priest is behind him. You just can't see him. Um, the other side, we have shield breakers. This is from right to left. Um, flame Belcher. King on a large beast. Uh, Ironclad Regiment. Uh, the flagger between there is the healing charm character, uh, bulwarker regiment, followed by another uh, shield breaker regiment. Basilia from left to right, the penitence mob. Next to them is the uh, two hand upgrade. A foot paladin behind them is our flagger, and then to the next one is the warbo of Kaba. Um, foot paladins. Uh, the little guy next to them is her mage or war wizard. On the back on the left on top of the hill is the uh, Elohai. Uh, next to them is the uh, Ur Elohai. Uh, the uh, guy on the mount is Nias. Uh, behind them is a Elohai regiment, and in front of them is a Paladin foot guard. So you can look over the uh, deployment of the board. You can see where the tokens are placed. Um, my strategy from the dwarf's perspective was to overwhelm the two tokens on the left and just ignore the one on the right. Um, hopefully that there's enough bodies that I can just grab grab those two and hold them um, and then just you know ignore the other one. Uh, and a couple of action shots will be posted in this, uh, mostly because the guy I was playing owns a store and he was a little busy. So, um, you know, Christmas and all, he was uh, taking a lot of orders. So, we roll off see who goes first and Basilia goes first so he moves up like such on the right and a little more cautiously on the left and that's it the end of his turn moving to dwarves turn one um, on the left I just really moved the elementals up um, and then all the other dwarves move up pretty much as fast as they can um, except for the king he just kind of kept in line um, with everybody else uh, shooting, the rangers put a few points of damage on this penitent mob here. And uh, I, I showing this, I just rolled a surge roll, and I and I got seven seven out of eight. So my greater, my earth elementals went flying, which was pretty funny. Uh, overview after that. So we go into turn two. Turn two, the um, elo high. Um, hit my ironclad. Um, his paladins on the right, you can see there, just walked onto the token, picked it up, pivoted. Um, Nias came moving around. Um, his his Uri Lohai has the flame breath item and the wizard, so they're gonna try to. Uh, he's gonna try to cook my uh, dwarves on the hill there. Um, and on this side, uh, we got a double charge into my earth elementals, who went whoop, way too far. Uh, and then everyone just kind of moving up over here. So, 
I would move into shooting. And since my shield breakers are only defense four, they uh, are actually somewhat susceptible to fireball. And he got seven damage through and actually waivers them, which was pretty good. Um, over here, the easy low high put about five damage on these guys, which wouldn't be a big deal, but he actually rolls well and waivers them. Uh, over here, the elementals show what the elementals do. They take two damage, and that's about that. So, you can see the uh, outcome of Basilia turn two. Move into dwarves, and we start with our headstrong rolls, and the ironclad pass, and the shield breakers pass. So, no one is wavered. So, on the left, um, we get some charges in. Um, on the left, the rangers charge the penitent mob. They have Pathfinder, so they'll do more damage charging than standing there and shooting, because they have Piercing 1, and the, whoops, sorry about that, the uh, Greater Earth Elemental and Earth Elementals double charge the uh, token holding um, foot, foot guard. Um, I'm not, I'm not really, I could have put more attacks into the uh, two-handed foot guard there, but I'm more concerned about getting that token transferred to my Greater Earth Elemental and getting him back towards the middle, so... You know, they'll be fine. I, I could have beat up those other guys, but yeah. So on this side, um, the king and the shield breakers double charge the Ur Elohai. My ironclad and bull workers double charge the Elohai. And my shield breakers charge um, the Nias character. Which, you know, eh, not a great choice, but they don't have a lot of options. So, um an overview of that movement all those charges um well i think this is probably healing i just forgot to put a thing in for it uh bane chant on the earth elementals which is always helpful uh over here these guys just do a couple points of damage nothing special um this double charge from the dwarves does a whopping four damage to these guys um not surprising they don't have piercing or anything so um, the king and the shield breakers, though, uh, fare much better and rout the Uri Hilohai and reform as such. And the um, earth elementals and greater earth elemental do, looks like, about nine points of damage there and waver. So, pretty good. And the last combat, the rangers um, actually succeed in routing this guy. The, they ended up being, I think, a little out of range for inspiring. So, they uh, overrun a little too far, but... So, uh, the end of Dwarf's turn two. Um, he has two tokens, and I have zero. So, we move into turn three. Turn three, my bull workers are flanked and rear-charged, so say goodbye to them. Um, Nias charges back into, or counter-charges the uh, shield breakers. The Loha go back into their ironclad. Um, over here, the mage just moves around to get out of the front arc of these guys. He's just going to fireball them to death. And over here, um, these guys double charge my elemental horde, the ones that are already damaged. So, uh, we go into fireball, and it's quite fiery, but I think my guys actually hold. I think he rolls like a two or something. Um, Nias doesn't do that much to these guys, just a little bit of damage. Um... On the other hand, the uh, double double charge into my uh, bull workers does 17 points of damage. So, of course, they're gone. So, um, that's the uh, reform after that. The uh, Elohi take out the Ironclad. They roll pretty well. No, it's not surprising. So, uh, and they reform like that. So, this, this side of the board is kind of falling apart for me. Uh, this side, though. <laughs> the combined charge still only does three three more points of damage to these guys, so they're pretty tough. So that's that's that. That's the board looking there. Um, yeah, so we're going to Dwarf turn three. Uh, dwarf turn three. My king um, goes charging into the second rank of Elohi there, or second line of them. Uh, my shield breakers just go charging back into Nias. Uh, my flame belcher moves up. He's been shooting what he can, but um, everything pretty much in front of him is to defense five, so it's not really very helpful. 
Um, and back over here, I don't double charge anybody. The Greater Earth Elemental goes into the Foot Guard because they're pretty damaged already, and I think he can finish it. So I send the Earth Elementals into the uh, Foot Guard with two-handed weapons. Um, a little healing goes off here. Uh, we got another Bane Chant here, so these guys are going to be winning on twos. Uh, Flame Belter shoots um, these guys for a couple of points of damage, maybe like one or something. Um, yeah, these guys don't, they did do a counter charge, but they didn't do great. I was kind of a uh, hail marrying with these guys. If they could have, they could have beaten him and then turn, they might've survived the next charge, but next turn, they're not going to be looking so good. And the King does a few points of damage to these guys. Nothing, nothing too special. On the other hand, the greater earth elemental does some work. And routes these guys, picks up his token, and reforms. And the Earth Elementals do, oh, okay. They get some good damage on him, but he is inspired, so they hold out. But they're not long for this world. So, just a showing of that. Dwarf turn three, and dwarf turn three on the other side. And another overview picture, because why not? Oh, moving to turn four. Turn four, the uh, low high charge my or counter charge my king, um, and then the uh, foot paladin and Nias character double charge my shield breakers. Um, we get a fireball off, hit my hit my uh, flame belcher, but he's fine. Um, oh, and over here the uh, the other low high charged my greater earth elemental, um, both to maybe do some damage to him, but I assume he was also doing this to keep me out of the middle, uh, or on the, transferring him to the middle, because, um, I, I've cleaned up this side pretty well, but, uh, there's a couple turns left, so I can, if I can get my greater earth elemental back to the middle, he can help out to at least hopefully get a tie, if not pull another token out, and over here, just another shot of that, hanging out at the fence, and not surprisingly, they, they route my shield breakers, reform like such, um, I don't think he even actually does any damage to my king. Um, king's defense six, and they didn't have thunderous charge. So anyway, he is regen and a heal bot next to him, so he he's not gonna go anywhere. Um, these guys put about four damage on, which was you know respectable, but not not gonna bother him. Uh, these guys actually do a bit of work and get these guys up a little bit more, but my earth elementals are fine, so no problem. Oh yeah, and then the flagger charged. <laughs> The flagger charged my rangers, and he actually got a point of damage on them, which was kind of scary because they are a, they are a ten twelve nerve, and they were not inspired, but they held out. So an overview of that, kind of just a couple little clusters, a lot of dead bodies in the middle. Uh, dwarves turn four. Um, the greater earth elemental counter charges the Ilohai. The earth elementals counter charge the uh, foot paladin and my rangers go after the banner guy um yeah and i move my um yeah that's about it nobody really needs much over there so um on this side i run my uh standard bear um uh, to interdict his um his nias guy trying to kind of block him off from charging my, um, or at least getting an easy charge off on my flame belcher. Um, obviously he could just, he's nimble, so he could just pivot around him, but you know, just something. Um, and the king goes back in doing what the king does. So overview there shooting, uh, maybe a damage off on nice. All the, all these guys are also have iron resolve. So you, you put a damage on and they just get it right back. So it's, it's almost like wasting your time. Uh, Bane chant off on these guys we should do the duty um and then the rangers uh the rangers waver the standard bear which was kind of funny um the elementals route his foot guard no problem and reform and the greater earth elemental i don't know what he does i think he i think he beats him but we'll, we'll find out eventually he beats him uh my king routes uh, the guys he was in combat with and reforms and turn five 
yeah, maybe my greater earth elemental. Anyway, nope, doesn't look like he did. So, Basilia turned five. Um, they have foot guard charge into my king on the beast, because why not? Uh, Nias kind of takes a bait here and charges my um, bannerer for whatever reason. And his wizard, uh, his wizard decided to do the only thing the individual could do here, and that stand on the token so no one can take it. He's not, he's not holding it. He's just standing on it. Over here, just counter charges. Um, his his standard bear is not headstrong, so he's just gonna hang out. Uh, fireball hit my flame belter, which is kind of ironic when you think about it. But uh, we go into combat, and my banner is fine. He holds out, and my king is fine. He holds out, no problem. Um, and my greater earth elemental is also fine. Not, not surprisingly, he holds out just fine. So, yeah, we look at this, just a couple of clumps, people hanging out. Uh, dwarves turn five. Pretty much everything you would expect to happen. Um, counter charges. My ranger's just trying to finish off the, the, the banner so they can go somewhere, but it's getting kind of late in the game. King counter charges. That's about it. I turn my banner around so he can heal. Um, a little bit of shooting from the Flame Belcher again. They're actually kind of adding up a little bit to the point where I actually waver him. Waver Nias. So, pretty good, actually, for what it was. Um, some healing on my king and some regen. So, he's all he's all good. There we go. We go into combat and my Greater Earth Elemental uh, takes care of these guys, no problem. And overruns up here. Um, in the last turn, I had moved my, um, I'd moved my, um, da -da 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 -da, stone priest up in this general direction, um, knowing that I would probably kill those Elohi and probably overrun. So I wanted to make sure that my, uh, greater earth elemental wouldn't get out of range because I'm going to have to use surge and hope for a seventh turn essentially at this point to get him into the game or get him into the other side. I, so, that that's just hoping. Um, my my rangers just rewaver this guy, so they're they're out of the game, but that's fine. They killed a penitent mob. My king hits these guys, but now he doesn't have thunderous charge, and it's kind of a slap fight. Um, not gonna get very far. So that's that. Um, end of that turn. So my elementals are trying to turn around and come over. And on the other side, my king's just kind of playing with those guys. So, we get a turn six. Well, of course, we get a turn six. This turn six. Nias is headstrong, so he passes his waiver and jumps up over there. Um, we were talking about this, and it said it makes more sense to do something like this because if there is a turn seven, he can go claim that token. So... Um, yeah, which makes sense. Um, and here's the other side. Nothing, nothing going on. He's just, he's just wavered, shooting uh, fireball again. But he just keeps rolling too low, to waver or route this guy. Um, in combat, I don't think he did any damage to me. Uh, my king, he just kind of, just kind of shook it off. So we move into dwarf's turn six. Uh, <laughs> dwarf's turn six. I, I turn my king around. Um, and get a regen off, it looks like. Eventually I'm saying, okay, if there's a turn seven, there's no way I'm killing I'm killing those uh, foot guard. I'm just not going to do it. He doesn't have enough attacks. He's probably not going to pull it off. But I could kill that mage. You know, I, I can take a rear charge, I think, from those foot guard. I'm, I'm not that worried about it. So that's, that's my idea over there. Um, over here. I do get a move and a big surge off. So where that token is on the hill is where my greater earth elemental actually is. So he got a pretty big surge off and his move. So he's close. Um, actually, I think he's actually closer. Oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't surged yet. I don't know why. I'm, this is wrong. I haven't surged yet. That's where he is from his movement. Yes. So here we go into shooting. In the shooting, we get a healing off. Yep, and then surge, I get a seven surge again. So, big surge. 
puts him right there. So, um, in case there's a turn seven, um, they're about to get sandwiched on that token. So, feeling good about that. Feeling good about that. Um, Rangers finally stop screwing around and route their guy and overrun a little bit. Um, overview, uh, showing there wasn't any combats. Oh, there was one, but outside of that, um, then there's the other overview. So you can just see how it's going, and we roll for a four, five, or six to see if we get another turn, and we don't. So, result, it was a tie. Um, we each held one token, um, and no one was really, yeah. It, it was a, it, I think it was a, a fairly solid tie. I probably had more points on the board in the end, but that doesn't really matter. Um, so, uh, just some just some general thoughts on the game. Um, I was trying out a little bit of a different list, um, just to see if I if I could you know take advantage of having more dwarves in the field. I have more dwarves painted now. Um, I have enough for four regiments, like you like you saw, and I actually have those guys done. Um, but in the end, I'm, I'm I don't know that I'm all that impressed. <laughs> Honestly, the, the golems are are so much tougher. Um, and just as and just as fast, honestly, in the end, because they move five and they're surgeable. Um, I don't know. I, I'm honestly thinking um, I got another Greater Earth Elemental, um, so I'm thinking about painting him up and getting another horde of Earth Elementals, and then just running like a small contingent of dwarves uh, in the middle, and then two two sets of Earth Elemental horde, Greater Earth Elemental, and Stone priest, cause just because I love that that little um, little triumvirate, or just that little set of guys are um, quite capable of handling themselves nearly anywhere. But um, overall, though, it was a good game. Um, just trying to practice a little more with my dwarves. I, I don't really have a list set for the uh, tournament I'm going to in January, so I'll probably use one of the previous ones you've seen here. But we'll see. Otherwise. Um, I'm rambling again, so thanks for watching, and we'll get you guys next time.